yes people what's good and welcome back to the channel so today guys proud to say no more anemone in the tank i'll tell you guys what i'm dosing in the tank and then some suggestions from you right guys so when i first started this system i wanted the anemone clownfish look and i was very successful at this and you can actually see my results here so the clownfish um was getting hosted by this anemone and it decided to start walking around again the anemone not the clownfish right so i decided yep that's not gonna happen I'm going to strip this anemone off and put it for safekeeping in a jug ready for my friend to collect in the morning. So I have successfully, you know, scraped it off, you know, not damaging the foot or anything and place it in a jug ready for collection. Now, whilst doing this, I was pondering like what the tank would look like, would a clownfish be okay? And looking back now, yeah, the clownfish did take some time to acclimate. Now it is like two in the morning, so I guess they're probably just you know, half asleep or just confused. And I can actually see the aquascape of the, the Pico and I think, you know what? Without the anemone there, I think the Pico looks a bit cleaner. Yeah, so let me know what you guys think in the comments below if the, if the Pico actually looks better without the anemone, because I think it does. Now this is what the aftermath was after doing 100% water change after the anemone was removed. And the Pico reef, yeah, is coming up in leaps and bounds, guys. And I'm really proud of this little tank. Now, some people ask me, you know, what do I dose in the tank? How do I keep the corals happy? Guys, I dose all for reef in the tank. I do free meal every day to keep the corals happy now people say like you don't need to dose all for reef it's, a, it's overkill for such a, a small volume of water i don't think so it's the way i reef is the way i want to do things so it is working i'm going to keep on doing it you guys can try but just go easy now i do perform 100 water changes on this tank at least once a week if i don't do 100 water change i'll do 50 like halfway in the week and 50 on the other half or the end of the week to ensure that that water is kept in pristine condition or as best as I can. Now, there is a new coral, a couple of new corals in the system. I've gotten some new acans, or sorry, Mycomusal odoensis, and I got a new torch coral, as you can see in front of you. Now, I had a flower pot coral. This, this flower pot coral just retracted and just died out over a couple of days. So I'm kind of gutted about that, but having a look at the LPS kind of vibe of this Pico Reef with the torch corals, I'm really feeling this tank. The top of the tank is filling up with all little sparkles and that in my in my little you know crazy world that is actually looking quite beautiful and i think that my daughter actually wants to reclaim this tank so guys let me know in the comments below should i give the tank back to my daughter or should i just keep it for myself hmm, challenging one right guys so this is one of the sides of the aquarium where the anemone used to be so now you can see how clear that looks how the um octo uh, octo frog spawn and the torch cores at the top look really nice now, a lot of you guys have been asking what lights am I running? I'm working the AI Prime 16 HD, um, low intensity. So everything, including the blues, doesn't go above 50%, especially the whites. That stays around, say, 12 at peak time and goes down to zero at certain points of the day. Um, it is running, the schedule is running for about 12 hours a day and it's quite low intensity, as you can see here. Um, I have not had any issues with the lights. So if you guys want to try out my lighting schedule or use it as a base for your lighting schedule, just get hold of me on my Instagram page, just message me there and I'll send it over to you guys, no problem. All right guys, this is Naran for HC Aquatics Reefing. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe guys. I'll see you next time.